Okay, so hello, welcome to my first makeup tutorial. My name is Tara Key, and as you can see, I've already started doing my makeup. Yeah, I have my hair tied down as well, so we're gonna see how this goes. Well, for foundation, well, let's start with primer because I usually do my primer first. I like to prep my skin, washing my face, and then putting on some retinol before I go out, only in the nighttime. Don't use retinol in the daytime because you can lead to sun damage. So, um, I only use retinol in the night when I decide to go out and do makeup and stuff like that. Or if I'm going to sleep. So, I do have my mirror here. I'm just going to be looking at this to do my makeup. This is going to be a really simple, quick beats, baby. Because I'm going out to dinner with my boyfriend. And yeah. So, after I do my um, cleansing with my... Uh, uh, just to control the oils, I like to use the pore controlling primer. So I'm just using the Caratrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer. It says goodbye pores. It's kind of like a pinkish color. It might look white, but it's pink. It's actually really cheap. I think it was only like $4 maybe, $4.99 at Ulta. Um... And then I use that. I let that sit on my skin for a little bit. And then I do my brows. I just did my brows with a regular brown eyeliner pencil. And I use my little spoolie to, uh, you know, puff my brows up, grow a nap. And for foundation, I was using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. This is the color 400. I'm in the color 400. Um, I got this foundation what maybe a couple weeks ago, and when I tell you, it has been the best thirty-seven dollars my ass has ever spent. It has been the best thirty-seven. Look at my dumb ass. The best thirty-seven dollars my ass has ever spent. Okay, I don't know why I didn't get this as soon as it came out, but I'm fucking glad that I got it now because this is the best foundation i've ever had in my life even though i haven't used a lot of foundations i've always been a matte girl so i've been mixing that with my mac um studio fix i've been mixing this these two together um i think my mac studio fix i'm a nw44 in the mac studio fix this is the Fenty right here. This is the Fenty here. And then this is the MAC right here. So it's a little bit darker. But when I mix them together, I feel like I get the perfect shade for my face. Um, I don't like to try a lot of different foundations. But I'm glad that I got this. Um, it's perfect. It's like skin. It's just like putting on skin. Um, but I do like the reason why my face looks like this is because I do like to let like to let my foundation kind of just sit and oxidize on my face before I I need to clean my brushes off. Sit and oxidize on my face before I actually go in and um before I actually go in and you know do my thing do my thing. But I'm watching Hell's Kitchen right now. I'm also staying hydrated so you know your skin can look. Shut up, I'm gonna be using a brush that I got from AliExpress. I actually got a whole bunch of brushes. I don't really need to wash my brushes um, very badly, but I don't do makeup very often anymore like I used to. So every now and again, when I wear makeup, my brushes, you know, pretty dirty. But it's okay, you know, we get through it. Um, brushes, AliExpress. They're pretty good brushes, very dense. I like them. My boyfriend got them for me um, last year, and I've been using them ever since then. I got some face brushes and some um, some face brushes and some eye brushes. So, and they were actually really cheap. Uh, but the quality is good, so that's what I like about them. Um, yep. So, uh, nothing's really been going on in my life, really. I just been trying to uh, get my life together. That's all everybody I feel like is trying to do, just to get their life together. Because I mean, we twenties, we all twenties, we young. I'm only twenty three, so you know, 
I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying to get my get myself together. I would not. Um, I already graduated from college, but you know, after you get rid of that like structure, you have like all this structure when you're in college and you've been in school your whole life. After you get rid of having all that structure, you kind of don't know what to do. My face look really streaky, don't it? I need to get some better lighting, but I didn't do any eyeshadows today because we're just going to dinner. We're just going to the Bahama Breeze, so I do like to also put foundation on my neck um, just because I like it to be flawless and seamless and... And I like to put it on my chest if I'm gonna have my chest out. I like to do that because I hate, 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 hate when I see women with foundation on and their makeup looks good. Then when you look at their neck, yeah. Then when you look at their neck, it's like who did it and why? Cause, um, yeah, it's like it doesn't match. So I'm really particular about that. My hair is getting laid down. So. so then I like to go in with my beauty blender and just kind of like wet my beauty blender a little bit. And then kind of just go in and push it into my skin. Push it into my face. Just to get that. Like this foundation, baby. Woo! This Fenty foundation is a match. I have the Fenty concealer. I got this. I didn't have the first. I don't have the regular matte foundation. I have this concealer. This is the only concealer that she has. Pro filter. I didn't have that foundation that goes with this concealer. Um, you know, because... I don't know. I just was like, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. I didn't really feel like I could find my shade um, whenever I went to Sephora. And I don't really like Sephora anyway. I'm an also girl. So, I feel like I couldn't really find my shade. So, I was just sticking into what I knew, which was MAC. I was like, I'll just stick to what I know. And, you know, just keep it at that. But then when it came, when she came out with the hydrating foundation, I was like, mm, that would be great because I have smile lines. Probably, I don't know if you can see it, but I have smile lines and, um, you know, after I wear my foundation for a little too long, it starts to crack. And I don't like that. So, uh, I was like, okay, let me try this hydrating foundation and whatnot. And, girl, I should have did that. I should have got it when it first, first came out. Uh, just to save me some energy, but... What did I do with my spoolie? Okay. Yeah, so. I'm trying my eyebrows there. I don't like to do a lot to my eyebrows either because I just like to tweeze them myself and kind of just do a little bit of concealer around them, fill them in a little bit and keep it pushing. Uh, spray my face again uh, before I do my concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix. Uh, makeup setting spray up to 16 hour matte finish so that's what I've been using I love 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 now I'm just gonna let that sit before I do my um before I do my concealer um but I love trying different setting sprays I always things I really like to try different like a lot of makeup once i get used to a product i like to stick with that product so i don't really try a lot of products but setting sprays um i'm getting definitely into trying new concealers new powders i've always used the mac uh the regular mac powder i always use this one oh i had tried the maybelline fit me i got this maybe about a month ago and then i just bought this morphe um, they had a lot of Morphe and Sephora the last time I went there. I went there two days ago. Um, I can do a little haul for y'all while I'm over here. Okay. Um, yeah. I went to Ulta because I don't really care for Sephora that much. I went to Ulta and got this from Morphe. They had a lot of Morphe stuff um, in that Ulta that I went to. So I got this and said I was going to try it. I'm a little bit weary about yellow powders. I'm a little weary about yellow. 
I was always using the the e.l.f. Um, setting powder and it was yellow and it was perfect it was this is like a darker yellow than that elf powder that elf powder was so perfect for my face um but it kind of got a little i guess i got discontinued i can't really find it anywhere but now i think the more i get into the makeup the more natural i want my makeup to look so it's like when i get these when i get um these products that when I get these products that don't help my um, face look natural, you know, they don't help me look like I'm really not wearing makeup, that's when I get to the point where I don't want to use that anymore. But I've been definitely getting into powder. So I got this from Ulta. Um, I'm going to let y'all know what I got at Ulta. I didn't really get that much. But while I'm kind of letting this set into my skin, um, I got this. Uh, I'm going to be using this tonight. Uh, I probably will mix the MAC with the MAC is my about my skin color so it's a brown powder it's I don't know what color it is but it's probably an NW40 something NW40 because I'm an NW44 that's probably an NW43 maybe um because I've had this for a long 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 time I bought this back when I was still in Virginia and it's still a good amount in here like so I try not to use a lot at one time but that's probably why I kept it for so long. Um, I'm gonna use this tonight. What else did I get from Ulta? I didn't I only spent like thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars. I got this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. So now I've been trying to use new concealers. Um because since, ever since I got this Fenty Foundation, the hydrating one, I've seen that the formula did not work too well with the the pro filter concealer it kind of started separating under my eyes and i was thinking maybe it's because this is a matte concealer and this is a hydrating foundation so i was like okay well maybe let me try new foundations i don't really like to switch up on found on concealers and stuff like that ever since i got this uh fancy one i've been using this uh before i was using the you know the good old days i was using the i was I, like it's barely anything in here i think i had to like pop the top off of this because i was using this i would faithfully girls you girl this the girls know the girls know about this and i was using that on my face but when you start to see how many other concealers are out there you uh you might start to switch up so that's what i did i think this is good now i'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer so I got this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. This is the color. What color is this? Oh, this is cappuccino. So I try to find something that's maybe like a shade darker than my foundation because I don't like a really light, light ass highlight. I like my highlight to be um I don't know if you guys can see that. But I know my lighting is terrible, but we're gonna get this together, okay? This is my first video. But um so I got that. I don't like a really light, bright ass highlight under my eyes because that it just doesn't look good. I'm sorry. If that's what you like, then that's what you like. Me personally, I want my highlight to know. I want to know that my concealer is popping, but it's not, you know, looking like I just put on a bunch of banana powder. Like, I don't like that. So I don't do that. Okay. And then I got this Milani one. I actually went back to get this after I had rung up my original purchases because the girl told me that this was good for hydrating, I guess. But I'm not 65 deep 10. So it's a little bit lighter than I would really like. But I think I can work with it, especially with my MAC uh, powder. I can work with it. And then, so I got the Morphe powder and then I got the Morphe concealer as well. Um, full coverage concealer. It is. Let's see. I like the packaging on all the Morphe stuff. Morphe stuff is so nice. I really do. And it's, it ain't really expensive, but you know. Um. Uh, yeah, the packaging on all their stuff is really nice. Their palettes and stuff are always nice. Um, this is the color C425. I know you guys can't see that. That shit is small as fuck. Um. 
it got a big brush though but it, i think this is actually good i think this will work for me um and i won't have to do a lot of like mixing of different colors and stuff but the packaging of that stuff is what gets me all the time uh i think this is these two things are honestly my first two morphe um items i always was so into the palette oh and they have that setting spray too that i want to try that setting spray is like 16 dollars that should make me feel like matte because you know that freaking matte setting spray that matte setting spray is like the big one that shit is like 20 20 fucking dollars like i remember when i used to work at the mall i used to buy that shit that's because i was you know making a little bit more money but and i was young and i was just like oh and i was just getting into makeup so it was just like oh i was just buy whatever um but now nah sis okay i'm doing my concealer oh this actually look good i didn't know i didn't think it was gonna look this good i thought it was gonna be lighter than this the way i like to do my concealer i don't like to do the i don't like to do the regular triangle i don't like to do that because i'm gonna tell you guys why because with concealer it spreads just like any makeup item makeup any makeup that you put on your face you don't need to just like with foundation you don't need to smear foundation all over your face when you're putting it on you get what i'm saying you don't need to when you take your foundation out i don't need to take my 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 foundation in and do three four five five lines of it on my face i don't need to do that because it's liquid you know it's, it's it's aqueous you get what i'm saying it don't need to i don't need to put it all over my face because it's gonna spread once i use my beauty blender or my brush or whatever i'm using it's gonna spread so i don't need to do uh i don't need to do a, a line i don't need to make all of this under my eye concealer because it's gonna spread out and i let that sit for a little bit i really want to take this off because it's um really tight but my wig, yeah, I got this from AliExpress. It is um, Jerry Curl, I think. Don't give me the lion. Um, but I got this, and I freaking love it, love it, love it, because I'm not a curly hair person. I usually like my straight hair, uh, my body wave, whatever, whatever. I got makeup on my shirt. But I, I, I'm feeling this. Especially when I get it wet, then it's like, ah, it's just, it actually, I just got it wet a minute ago. So, it still looks kind of good. Once it dry out completely, it get a little bit more puffy than this. I don't really care for that puffiness, but it is what it is. I'm going to let this concealer dry down just a little bit. Guess I'll show y'all my outfit too, tonight. Okay. Your girl's coming. I don't shave my legs. That's how you know. That's how you know you're getting cute, cute. You getting cute, cute if you done shaved your legs, okay? Cause, yeah. Oh, no, you done shaved your arms. Me, personally, I don't shave my arms anymore. Unless I know I'm about to be wearing, like, a halter top or maybe, like, a tank tank top. Um, then I'll go ahead and do that. But most of the time, baby, mm -mm. I ain't even got time. That's too much. I was thinking about laser hair removal. Yeah, but it really is excuse me but it, but in our reality i'm not gonna do that shit i don't want to put no lasers on my body mm -hmm. all right i'm just putting this uh it's just like a eyebrow gel on my eyebrows so they can stay i probably need to hurry up i don't even know what time it is um, we got a table we got a reserve a table reserved at nine o'clock so hopefully my boyfriend can be back by then because he's at work so hopefully he can be back um hopefully he can be back by then he told her to stop tasting her food did he say start tasting her food i don't know gordon ramsey crazy but he be yelling the hell out of the people i have a week also need to do some um uh, i was gonna do some a little bit of concealer on top of my lip just to cover up this little mustache I but i don't need to let that dry down because it ain't gonna be that's pretty much about all i do just a little bit a little bit a little bit goes a long way that's what the girls don't understand 
a little bit goes a long way. My lip gloss is in the car. <laughs> Um, so I do not have lip gloss, but we're just gonna pretend. Um, okay. Concealer time. And then I wet this. Like wet, wet, like wet, wet. Yeah. Kind of squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And I let it sit for a second. And then what I like to do is well something I've been doing that's been making my concealer come out so much better. I take a little pointed brush like this. It's, it can get flat, but it's just a pointed, it's kind of this is a pointed brush. And so and I kind of wet it just a little bit. And I take this brush and I go around the edges and I kind of you see what I mean when I say that it stretches out? The concealer stretches out. Ooh, this lighting is bad. It's bad. I get around the edge. <laughs> I get around the edges of my concealer. I kind of stretch it out. I bring it out. I just pat it. I don't drag it. I pat it out. I pat around the edges. The edges. Something that a lot of people don't have. Sometimes I be thinking I ain't gonna have no edges because all these damn wigs I be wearing. But I still got my edges, it's okay. And I kind of pat it underneath my eye. I pat the edges around. You see how now you can't kind of, you kind of can see where it starts to end, but you can't really. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the top of my lip just because usually I don't do this, I just do this with my BB blender. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just for the sake of the video. And I'm kind of like around here where a girl got some sun damage. And I call that that. Now I take my damp ass beauty blender. I take the bottom of my beauty blender and I tap it, tap it, tap it. Okay, this is gonna give you skin. This is gonna give you second skin. Go around the edges, you know, where it wasn't blending in, right? I'm going to have to pick my phone up and show you guys what... I'm going to show you guys the difference between both sides. This is the side that I just patted down. This is the side that I just patted down. This is the side that I didn't pat down. You see that line? That line... Do you see a line? I don't see a line. If you see a line, then let me know. But me, I see my natural contour right here, but I don't see a concealer line. Okay? You're not supposed to be able to see where your concealer starts and where it ends. Okay? Skin! Okay? Okay. So we're going to do that. I'm going to pat that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Giving you girls skin, okay? And since I'm not wearing foundation, I mean, I'm not wearing eyeshadow today, I can continue to take this up and onto my eye. Pat it, pat it. Cause the beauty blender is gonna soak up some of that, you know, extra concealer that you probably really don't even need. Take, I'm gonna take a little bit more, put it under my eyes. Put it under my eye right here. That side probably don't need it, but take a little bit more. And then I'm going to take that brush again. Spray it a little bit. And then I'm going to pat it under my eye. Right under my eye. Okay. Right into the eyeball. Then I'm gonna take that beauty blender again with that damn booty. And I'm gonna pat it in there. Pat that shit up in there, sis. And that's it. That's all she wrote. And before we can start the crease, we're gonna take her. <laughs> 
before we crease, we're going to start to uh, get this mixed. I should have did this before I started, but it's okay. I'm going to mix this, not this. I'm going to put the fit me over here because I'm not using that one today. I'm using my new Morphe. I swear, if this makes my under eyes really, really yellow, I'm going to be so pissed. But I'm going to just use a little bit. Literally, like, the smallest amount of it. That was probably too much. I only, I mixed it in the top with the mat. That was too much. I'm going to take some out. He need to send her home. I'm tired. Is he going to send her home? I'm tired of her. I'm tired of this one lady. Her name is Friend in Hell's Kitchen. And, and I can't stand her. Because she really, the bitch really need to go home. This is my contour brush. I want to say this is my, I don't like to use this powder brush for my, uh, I'm going to take this, that, that. I'm going to put that right under my eye. The smallest, littlest amount of powder that you can get and put it under my eye. Now, that is giving a girl skin. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the difference. Thank you. So, this is the side that I did the powder on, as you can see. This is the side I didn't do the powder on. This is skin, okay? This is what you call skin. And I do have creases under my eyes, they're not going nowhere. But this is skin, okay? All right, the creases ain't going nowhere. I have natural creases under my eyes. Um, sometimes I will take just more if I'm going to like the club or I'm going to like an event or something like that. And I will put more you know, yellow powder just to let my highlight under my eyes stand out more. But I'm not going to do that because I don't, you know, it's really not needed. I do like to put it on my neck as well. Um, but, yeah. So I kind of just do that on my neck, do it on my chest just so it don't you know, transfer. Same thing I do on my face. Um, this lighting. Let's not give my makeup justice. I don't know what the hell going on. But, yeah. Or maybe this will help. Let's see. Again, Okay, this is the one that I Okay, I can't get up because I'm not wearing pants. Hmm. Hopefully, you guys didn't see my ass. Okay. Alright, this video is getting long. But it's okay because this is my first video. So, okay, powder. We got that done. I'm trying to see if I'm going to do a little bit more. Just make sure that that is. Good. That was good. Who? I can come back. always trying, my girl, Autumn. I can do better. I know I can do better, and I will. Truthfully, I haven't got time to wait any longer. But he waited for friend, though. She not going home. If he don't send friend home, I'm gonna be so eased. <laughs> been killing it. You spend more time on that spot than you have on your section. Yeah, really. Somebody in the red team tonight threw you off your section and you allowed it. Girl, now, they... So I be mad about this stuff like I'm gonna even go on chef. You stay here when you can't even say no. Just do a little bit of contour as well. Ooh, I got makeup on my boyfriend. There's 50% of you left, so that means something quite significant for me. I've got the best half. Wipe that off so you can see that. So. Good night. I'm gonna wipe my lips here for sure, too. <laughs> I feel like it's every day. Yes. Okay. Right but I know so that's that. I don't I use uh, nothing really. Well, I'm going to be more careful with everything um, I do. I'm not going to the hot dogs tonight. That's for sure. 
Yeah. How much is the push around the little house kitchen? So it was up to me to finally push her out. Contour. Just something slight. Just kind of take it up. I do not take my contour all the way down here. I don't do it because it looks dumb. Um, just me personally, I don't do it. I think it looks. Because everybody has a natural contour in their face. I mean, I don't know if you guys could see it earlier when I showed it to you. Um, everybody kind of has a natural, especially darker girls um, and girls that around my complexion also have, you know, even light skinned girls also have a, a natural contour in their face. Um, so if my contour ends, my natural contour ends here, why would I take makeup? You know, why would I take my makeup contour all the way down here or down here? That's that doesn't make any sense. So it can still be snatched, but it's all about you know playing with the natural features in your face. Like, and I don't like to overdo. Just I used to. Don't get me wrong. Everybody's had that you know time where they makeup didn't look the best and the brightest, but it's okay. Um. I promise this next video is going to be, um, have better lighting because I feel like I don't even look like I have a makeup right now, really, but, um, we'll see at the end how this comes out and then I do not contour my nose either. That's done. A little bit of contour. Did not snatch it tonight for the girls. Um, sometimes I do do, do contour here as well because I have a fat ass face, but, um, I'm not gonna do it tonight, I don't think. It's just Yeah, whatever's left over on this brush. I'm not gonna dip it back into the powder no more. Um I don't feel like it does anything for me. But uh what else? I'm gonna do some blush. I do like to use I like to use my little blush brush and the orange blush. I like to use orange blush. Um I wish I could find some other blush colors though. I wish I could find some other blush colors rather than orange. I don't like pink on me. I feel like I look stupid when I wear pink uh, blush. But uh, I like orange blush. Literally like orange. I'm going to be using the Carly Bybel, uh palette to get some blush. To get some highlight. Just a little bit. A little bit of highlight. Take it up. Take it up. My hair wasn't in the fucking way. I could do better. You know. Now you won't go back in and take some of that off. Cause I use this. And I think I like it so far. Um, it looks pretty good. I did some highlights. Um, I did some right here under my brows, and then I did some on my nose. I didn't do right here, which I should have, because sometimes I like to do that, but kind of like right above my lips. Um, way too much for my liking. <laughs> That's way too much highlight for my liking. Um, but this side looks actually perfect. Um, but this is way too much. But it's okay. Um, what they call that? They call it lashes. Lashes. I remember when I used to do my makeup. When I first started doing my makeup, I did not wear lashes. My best friend, Ebony, can attest to this. I did not wear lashes. Okay. My makeup would be looking really, really, really good. Pretty good. I think, you know, once I got my foundation shade right, my makeup was looking, it was looking pretty decent you know my eyeshadow and stuff was decent but i did not wear lashes oh, Jesus. highly 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 upset at myself but it's okay i can't imagine just doing my wake up and call it doing this and then continuing on with my with my night without putting my lashes on um 
I'm gonna take some mascara. This is just the wet wow. This supplies Thor lashes because I'm that type of bitch that just likes to throw her lashes everywhere. Once I'm ready to take them off, I pop them off and Lord knows where they goes after that. <laughs> These lashes are from the beauty supply store too. $1.99. I'm not paying ten dollars for no lashes because I'm not a dumbass. Um if you want to pay ten dollars for lashes. That's you. Uh, I pull the side down. Okay. okay. Then this is the part I hate. The corners. Mm. I don't want to go down now. That's great. I can't see it. And then do the corner. This one look like it's done broke off a little bit. Probably did. But yeah, now I go in with the first eye and I push it down. I'm going to let that dry for a second and I'm going to put that back down. But I'm going to go ahead and take this off my head because it's tight and I don't want it on my head no more. Ah, oh, why? That's tight. Okay, that's what she said. Where's my comb? My comb. And I kind of just put them in out. Now I got a line on my head because where I didn't put makeup at. I'm going to wet my hair again. It looks okay, I think. Um, yeah. I'm definitely gonna wet this again because I'm not gonna do it right now. But I'm gonna wet it again. And then. Yeah, because it's way too perfect for my liking. Okay, let me put this lash down for this shit dry up. And. Mm. She said it's too many colors. Did he switch her? Oh. Uh. Something else I like to do is take a little brush and kind of get like a maybe like a white ish glitter color and put it right here in my corner. Just a little bit of that. Kind of just make your eyes stand out a little bit. This is a basic ass uh, makeup tutorial. I ain't going to special tonight. I'm going to spray my face with the same Maybelline. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> I'm gonna wet my hair and I'll be back. Oh, I did wet the front of my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put some um, stuff in it. So that way it won't look so puffy, even though I love the puffiness. But I'm just combing it out with a big ass comb. It got really puffy though. I slept on it. It wasn't like this until I slept on it. And it started getting really puffy. And I didn't really mind too much. But I don't really want it to be this puffy. I kind of want it to be a little bit more curly. So, um, yeah, but it's okay. So, um, yep. Put some, I put some Pantene Nourishing Oil Serum on this, on the hair. Um, it's oily, but it's not like, it doesn't like weigh down the curls. That's what I like about it. And it smells so good. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good. Um, put it all on the ends. 
And then I kind of just comb it out again, make sure the top is also looking good. Yeah, um, my lace is laying down, baby. Just laying down, baby. Um, yeah. So, next time I first. And you see how puffy this, how this side doesn't look as puffy. Yeah. I freaking hate it. I don't want either side to look too puffy. Um, yeah. But um, I'm gonna try to get a new setup and everything so I can start recording more videos. Hopefully, I can get some viewers. And we're not. Um, but I'm gonna try to get another setup because honestly, we have a lot of space in this apartment. It's just a one bedroom, but we have a lot of unutilized space in this apartment. Um, and it's hair, I didn't tell you. It wasn't really shed too much. Um, it's curly hair and it's 24 inches. 24 inches. It's 24 inch wig. Um, so it really doesn't shed a lot, but it sheds to the amount that I would expect it to as a 20, you know, four inch curly hair. You know, I'm not going to expect it not to shed a little bit, especially if I'm combing it, you know, a lot, but, um, yeah, so then I just make sure that it's covering everything that you're in the back. And make sure my top is down, top is down. I'm gonna show my outfit too. Um, I need. Honey, I got the damn dress wet. Uh, my earrings are in this thing somewhere. I I just moved here to this apartment like about two months ago, about going on three months. So, this is my makeup situation, my hair situation. Um, <laughs> I'm working on getting a vanity soon. So, that way I can uh, have somewhere to store all of my makeup items and whatnot. Uh, but, it's in the work. It, this has been working. I mean, it's not like I wear makeup every day. So, it's not, you know, that much of a big deal trying to finish this before my boyfriend gets here um got earrings i'm thinking if i should wear this necklace i haven't worn it yet it's just the s but it's really cute it was cheap so i got it from aliexpress okay i'm looking like a little gangster with this chain okay i'm feeling it I'm feeling it. I think I'm going to put some hoops in tonight, too. Can never go wrong with the hoops. But see how the goals are different? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Why are you really coming at Autumn? But you know what? They, they've been doing my girl Autumn dirty since she got there. Um, I've been trying to get more water. I got this last night. Even though I usually do really good at drinking water, but this is the 1.5 liter. Um, what y'all think? What you think? I feel like I should do away with the earrings. Let me look at it in the mirror. Because it's two different gold. I got some more earrings in here, too. Necklace here. No earrings, I guess. I'm not doing earrings today. Which has some stuff. Oh, maybe I can wear base stuff. Hmm. Just like, hello, my name's Sarah. How are you? My name's Sarah. No, okay, nice to meet you. Hi. Yes, my name is Sarah. Okay, okay. I'm feeling it. My lip gloss in the car, so I feel like this whole look ain't even together yet. You know when you ain't got your lip gloss. <sighs> And you just feel like your whole, your whole look ain't even together. I'm Sarah Key. Or maybe I could do my hair in a ponytail. I don't know. 
I feel like a ponytail would look cute with this outfit though. Oh, I'm wearing a dress. Okay, I'm giving the girls body. I'm giving them body, okay? I'm giving them body today. I got this dress from, can y'all guess though? Can y'all guess where I got this dress? And it got a split. This got a, a nerve to have a split in the leg. Mm -hmm. Now I'm feeling myself, okay? Um, I got it from the rainbows. Rainbows. They say black people always put an S at the end of everything. Rainbows. Okay, and it's my first time wearing it. So I'm really, really feeling myself. Okay. Okay. I don't remember how much it was, but... I got this back when I was still in Virginia, and I had never wore it, so now it's the perfect date night to wear this. I need to lose this little stomach, okay, because if I was, if I was, I'd be, I'd be, girl, but it's okay, because the cake's still there. Um, yeah, once I lose this little stomach, I'm going to be dangerous, dangerous. Dangerous, but yeah, dress is rainbows. Hair is AliExpress. Earring is my boyfriend. Necklace is AliExpress. My bracelet is in my boyfriend's car. I got me a juicy bracelet and put that on when we get the car. Um, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching my YouTube video. My first, but not my last, YouTube video. And, um, Y'all can ooh, lace lifting up. Mm -mm, we don't need that. I'm gonna have to get that glue out. But that's okay. Y'all know how I be. Um Yeah, so date night. Follow me on Instagram, S-A-R-K-E-E, -E, Sarah Key, all one word. And I will definitely follow you back. But if you want more videos, if you want more of me, more vlogs, everything is coming, okay? I just got the iPhone 11, so if anything, I need to do all my stuff on my phone. I can do that. Um, if you want more of me, then like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll give you guys what you want. Thank you.